That's right, beautiful people. I am doing Vlogmas. Vlogmas 2021, baby. I will share more details about my version of Vlogmas and fitness and all of the things later in this video when I share my weigh-in for weigh-in Wednesday. If you are new here, welcome. If you are coming back. I'm so happy that you are here. I'm so grateful for you. I am April Lauren. I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. I enjoy sharing all things that help me live each day a little brighter here on my channel, Wake Up Bright. And I am so excited to be doing Vlogmas. It's a beautiful day and the perfect day to start celebrating Christmas by way of video vlogs. All right, little loves. Boo boo. Come on, booty bones. Chippy, leave him. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Hi, baby boy. Leave him, Chippy. Good baby boy. Good baby boy. I was definitely having too much fun at what is with this filter. I don't know. Um, anyway, I um, was having too much fun. Good morning. And now I'm late. So, gotta go. Gotta go work out. I'm wearing merch from last year. That's exciting. One thing I find interesting about some of the criticism that I receive is they say that I'm making it too complicated or I'm doing too much or like I, that I shouldn't work out. I work out because it is my happy place. Working out brings me happiness and the fact that I continually can move my body more and more just makes me more and more happy. There was a time not too long ago, I thought I might not ever be able to walk without um, a pretty significant limp or without crutches and I have come so far and I'm so thankful and I'm excited to share more about my little gym. I found a little home away from home. I found a little beautiful community that's strong, uplifting, empowering, and wonderful and now that I'm doing Vlogmas, I really can't keep these parts of my, of my life to myself. I've been um, hoarding some some little bits of happy not because I don't want to share because I've been planning to share and I've recorded footage the whole time but it's kind of like when I started 75 hard last year I just wanted it for myself I wanted it for myself for a lot longer than now but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there in coming videos so that will be part of vlogmas I'm pretty excited to share what I've been up to and why and some of my goals for 2022 I am not pregnant so and if I were pregnant I would be keeping that to myself and but I'm not so one day hopefully a minimum of like 75 pounds from now a minimum of 75 pounds so 
watching some of my workouts back, sometimes I'm overcritical, but a lot of times I'm just like, wow, you are powerful and you are strong. And that's what I feel watching myself do this sled push. Makes me so happy. I'm back from the gym. It has been a good morning. It has been the first morning of Vlogmas. We have the Huli Bones behind me. Chillin'. Oh, Chippy's there too. She's under the chair. The ball. Chippy, are you under the chair? What's Chippy do? Oh, there her is. <laughs> so today, I we're gonna go over the fitness little graphic that I created. Um, we are going to buy a couple things. I'm not really buying much. I did buy a tree so that my mom and I could put up a tree while she was here. We literally just put the tree up. We put some ornaments, not all the ornaments that I have on the tree. And then we decided that it needed ribbon. I decided that with our little robot vacuum that I did not want a tree skirt. I need a tree collar. So I ordered that. Um, the tree skirt is very sentimental for me. I don't know, I could just see it getting like sucked up, the little tassels and then the whole tree coming down. And I am very attached to some very special ornaments that I have, ornaments that my mom gave me, ornaments that I bought for me and my husband, like our first year of marriage. And yeah, so tree skirt. <laughs> but there's still a few other things like some ribbon. My mom was like, I really want you to do a pink and mint green tree in your office. And so I am gonna do that for my mama. And all right, so these are the things that we have. So I have taken all of the ornaments except for these balls. These balls were my grandmother's. Oh, you can see me in it. And honestly, because of where I put the tree, I am I think I might put these up in my office. I think that's what's gonna happen. I just had that idea. And I just have things like I really protect the ornaments. Then we have this stuff. Okay. Just random things. Oh, I forgot. So I bought these last year. So I'll definitely be using these. And I would definitely not. Oh, I was thinking about buying festive towels. Do I already have them? Kind of looks like I might. So I might not need, I need to go through all of the stuff that I have. And then in here, I have a nice star, it looks like. A dollar seat tree, tree, a wreath, houses. Wow, I did such a bad job packing. I bet that sign's destroyed. But I'm thinking I might do like some kind of little Christmas village up here. Also, I'm gonna put these up. I've been debating because it's very rustic and I feel like our house is not super rustic, but I don't care. I love them and so I'm going to. So I have like our little engagement photos, the photo when he got back from his deployment, a bee, I, and then I ordered a canvas from the ones that Julie took, which is gonna go in our bedroom, but I also ordered some like other sizes. So I need to buy maybe a couple more of these frames. I need to get the photos first. So that won't be today, but soon. And that will probably go up here. I got my little nutcracker out that my mom, my mama gave me. And here is the tree so far. Definitely looks better in person. Um, all of that is stuff for the kiddos. So let's see. This is a very special ornament. These are very, like all of these ornaments actually are my special ornaments. So, we got this one. Right now I just feel excited about it. Pretty sure it's gonna go from excitement to overwhelmed. <laughs> like life happens. <laughs> I 
see what the hubs thinks about it. Do you like it? I am obsessed with it. Babies, do you like it? Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> Be beautiful boy. So I was supposed to be going to the store, but instead I've been playing around with stockings. You can see that. You can see Chippy pulling out decor. I um put this garland up the mantle. I don't love the the garland, but I do love that it matches the tree. So I was gonna get. I was gonna move the tree for two reasons. One, it makes me nervous where it is because of the pups. And two, I had a vision of it in that corner. That corner though is the pups' beds. So on the upside, the pups wouldn't knock it over over there. But on the downside, I would have to move their beds over here and then they're not part of our little circle. Which we don't sit in here a ton, but Julio and Chipper sit in their beds a ton, so. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna look at what I have upstairs and then we're gonna go to the store finally. It looks like an evening walk instead of a daytime walk. I tried to make a commitment to myself to do more daytime walks because I'm about to lose all of the leaves. They may actually already be gone, which is kind of sad. Anyway, let's look at what we have up here. I don't think I ever did that. Okay. So not a lot, we have a days till Christmas. I think there was other boxes in here and I took it downstairs. We have these adorable little Santa mugs. Homestead wishes and muscle, muscle toe, muscle toe, muscle toe. Um, so I've got this, which I think is gonna go on the mantle. It's a nicer garland. Michael's would be a good place to go. And I have a white blanket, some silverware, a red sparkly tablecloth. I have a little T-Rex. What else is in here? Christmas jammies, a blanket, a puzzle, more jammies. I love this pillow. And then my brother gave me that blanket a few years ago. So... Okay, so I know I said that I was going like shopping. I don't know if I elaborated. I had a list and the list is vague and I was gonna go to a few different places. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go into World Market just cause I'm over here. And then I was gonna go to Sprouts and get our groceries, but I think I'm just gonna go to Target, see what I can get us for dinner at Target and get a plunger and a helmet and look at their wrapping paper and stuff. So anyway, let's go into World Market to see what's going on and I'll see you inside. Okay, so now I'm just doubting my decision to do Vlogmas all together. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna do the best that we can. 
and see how it goes. I don't know when I started making that weird noise, but I keep doing it all the time. Anyway, I um, ended up getting two ornaments. Ornaments are not my list. I wanted to get like six ornaments because they had all of these Santa aerobics ornaments. And it's like for the gym tree, but I'm like, girl, you're probably not even gonna have a gym tree. You have not even put your gym together. I mean, our gym is together enough to use, but it's like, <sighs> We have that water heater. It's not the gym, home gym of my last home gym. And so I'm less excited. But I did get two ornaments because they were buy two for a cheaper price than regular. I think they're two for like 15 or 16. And um, so I limited it myself to two. And then I got overwhelmed looking around that store and I was like, we gotta go. We gotta go, simplify. Maybe we're not doing an office tree, but maybe we will. We'll just see how it goes. <laughs> Let's just see how it all goes. I got three of these bags. I got one $10 candle, two $5 candles. For the, these two are for the office. Then from World Market, I grabbed these cute little ornaments. And then I grabbed some string lights and some batteries. That was it as far as the Christmas stuff. I just grabbed some food stuff for dinner and then I grabbed this helmet. So, that is it. <sighs> All right, beautiful people. It is time for the weigh-in portion of this video. The scale is up. And it sucks. Definitely had a couple good cries this afternoon. I was too busy this morning to really process it. So I weighed super early, way earlier than I usually do. I just, I, I committed to something at six. So I left the house at like 5.30. I should not have got on the scale. I should have just waited. But then I was like, what if I don't have time? I had time. I should have made the time to do it. And then it would be, it, the scale would still be up. So it really doesn't matter that much. I, uh, don't want to share this. I don't want to share this. I weighed in at 286.8 pounds. So that is a jump of almost, that is a jump of like four pounds. I was talking to my husband about this the other day because he doesn't understand. He's His weight goes up and down. He weighs multiple times a day, like every day. Every day he weighs multiple times a day and it has no bearing on him. He does not skip a beat. He continues to march forward to the beat of his own drum, happy and ready to get his goals, right? Whereas me, if I get on the scale and it's up, it doesn't matter the reason why that number feels like a judgment of you're not worthy, you're not worth it, you're pathetic, you shouldn't have done whatever I may or may not have done or you should have done more of whatever I had done or have done and it just, it sucks all of the air out of me. That's why I didn't weigh last week. On the off chance, I did not want to have a sour attitude and be emotional when my mom was here because of my weight. So unhealthy, so unhealthy to allow the scale to have that much power over me, and yet I do. And it sucks. It sucks to allow the scale to be my judge. And it sucks that I have to have all of those feelings before 
I can calm myself down and look at it a little bit more logically. You are fine. You need to sit back, continue forward, drink your water, exercise, eat healthy, track your food. The tracking your food is something that maybe not everybody has to do. I honestly feel like to have essentially maintained the weight's gone up and down a little bit, but essentially to have maintained not tracking is a good thing. It is not a bad thing to like my last weigh in, I was, I was up 0.4 pounds and I was really, really, really destructive and hard on myself about it. And it, it's a good thing to maintain. It's a good thing to not have huge like ups and downs and it's so annoying that when I weigh all of my sense leaves and that number on the scale becomes like king it's my defining number and that's so wrong it's so wrong for me to allow that to happen so if you too allow that to happen I encourage you to take a breath or several maybe don't even weigh it's up to you. I feel like weighing is important for me to do. I feel like I may even need to weigh just daily. That way I'm like seeing, or maybe I need to do like my husband and weigh multiple times a day. And that way I'm just used to seeing the number move because the number moves. The number moves constantly. There are so many other things that are more important like the way clothes fit, the way you feel, how strong you are. There's so many more important non-scale points of measure. And I think that's what's been missing from my journey this past month in October that I really lean on and it makes me feel good is having those non-scale points of measure. It was just discouraging that I'm not getting faster on my one mile, but I think I need to double down on taking those non-scale points of measure and just send it. I've got to work to be positive and I have to work to not allow the number on the scale to define my whole journey. Maybe it defines what I've recently done. It is a direct result of eating Thanksgiving and going out to eat with my mom and my husband and I went out to eat over the weekend. So there's been several times that I've eaten out and I haven't been like salad, no dressing, please cook my meat with nothing. So, but at the same time, I know I haven't eaten enough to gain four pounds of fat. So it is what it is. I'm gonna move forward. And I was thinking about this. I also got a comment from a subscriber. I haven't responded to that comment. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will respond to you. She said, oh, I'm kind of doing it now. She said that her parents, she saw her parents for the holidays and she was just really discouraged. And she asked if I was gonna do a challenge. She's like, I really need a challenge. Maybe she didn't ask if I was gonna do one. She said she really needed a challenge, I think. Maybe she asked, I don't know, regardless. When I saw that, I was like, I should. I already had a challenge for myself and I'm like, I should just share it. So I am, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna make a bucket list of things that I wanna do. I am going to do as many of those things that I can to force myself to experience holiday cheer, even if I don't feel like it. Because baby, I don't feel like it. It's okay. <laughs> The awesome thing is, is, even though I don't feel like it when I'm experiencing it, like putting up my tree with my mom, it was so good for my heart. Like it's still good for me to do those things. So that's why I'm going to. I am going to make healthy choices now. Whenever now is, <laughs> that's that's when I'm gonna make healthy choices. I'm, I am going to make healthy choices now. I'm not going to focus on what has happened recently. I'm not going to focus on what could happen tomorrow. I'm gonna to focus on it right now, make the healthiest choices that I can. 
And then I have a list of dailies that I'm going to do. I'm gonna pop it up. It's already up on the screen actually at this point. You can read along. I'm going to do basic things like spend 15 minutes outside. I'm gonna drink lots of water. I'm gonna work out, have active rest days, try to get eight hours of sleep in the night. Um, try to do an active service every day. And hopefully doing these things will help me have the best December that I've had. Now, in addition to my fitness graphic, I am going to be posting like my meals and things that I'm doing daily on Instagram as well as doing Vlogmas on here. So I'm going to really put an emphasis on my fitness and then my diet and hopefully end 2021 with my best month on my weight loss journey. That's kind of my low key goal. My actual goal is to stay in the moment and to make the best healthiest choices every single day that I can. And then I'll be doing Vlogmas. So I'll be sharing it with you the whole way through. <laughs> so with Vlogmas, I can't guarantee that I'm going to do all of the days of Vlogmas, but I want to. So I'm gonna try. If you miss me here, I will still be on the gram. So find me over there. And lastly, I did get the holiday merchant. So it is linked below in the store. So there's a little pop up and then there's also a link in the description. I love it. I am obsessed. Here is the tree. It has little kettlebells on it. It says April Lauren and wake up bright. But that tree, I I want that tree in real life. Oh, it also has like the little jump ropes on it. And it just looks so good. I am so impressed. And then I got this sweatshirt with the Santa. And I just think he's so cute. This one does not say April Lauren. I can't wear stuff that says my name. Like I tried to wear my fall merch out of the house and I just, I go back and change. I can't, I, it's too weird. So I have one that says April Lauren and then I have this one and I did put AL in the kettlebell. So it is sort of branded-ish for those that are interested. Very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> so and Santa's doing his kettlebell exercises. I've got tanks this for this merch. So we've got the tree. And then I hate this green. So I'm thinking about taking it off. You let me know in the comments down below what you think. But see how he's like all green? Like it's like a mint. But instead of being white, it's like faded. So I don't know if it's the dye from the shirt or what. But I hate it. So I'm still sharing it. I'm definitely gonna leave the white up, the white and probably the black version of the tank. I love the pink. I could probably get away with wearing this. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say about the tanks is I feel like they run small. So they like have this cute little back detailing, um, but the 2X is too little for me. Um, it's not too little, meaning it can't get on my body, but it doesn't look good. And I had my husband put it on and it actually fit him. <laughs> And he wears most of the time like a men's medium, sometimes a men's large, but usually a men's medium. This fits him like a men's medium would fit. Oh goodness, I've talked a long, long time. Most of the Vlogmas videos are going to be 10 to 15 minutes, aiming for like that 10 to 12 really, but I'm gonna give myself in my long-windedness 15 minutes to get my thoughts out if I need them. <laughs> well, beautiful people, thank you for being with me here on my journey. I am so excited to approach a vlogmas as a fitness and work on my fitness and oh chippies in the shot. Chip chip, so what you doing babe girl? Um, I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for your love and support and encouragement. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna do fitness with me. If you're gonna enjoy vlogmas and if you only want to watch a couple of videos a week or you only want to watch the way in wednesdays i totally get it just skip the rest <laughs> love you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow happy vlogmas days and merry christmas and all the things subscribe and ding the bell oh and my sister's doing vlogmas too so i'll link her video down below love you guys bye